Hey guys, hello everyone. So once again, welcome to Rasayan Academy. And in this uh, short video, we are going to discuss all the important questions that I had given you based on the concept of NGP in the previous video. If you have not seen the previous video, first go and watch it. And then you can continue with this one because here we are going to discuss the solutions, right? Chalo. So let's talk about the first question, guys, on NGP concept that is neighboring group participation. So this question was asked in June 2011 CSIR net examination and the question is very simple. It's asking you the relative rate of solvolysis of iodides A to Cr. Now what is a solvolysis reaction guys? Uh, you know this uh, iodide is being re uh, replaced by any of the solvent molecule right. So you can have solvent as water then you call this uh, solvolysis as hydrolysis. If you have solvent as methanol you call it methanolysis. If you have uh, acetic acid, you call it acetolysis, right? So, solvolysis is only replacement by a solvent molecule. Okay, so first thing, guys, what are the different factors that we have to consider over here? Now, yesterday only we have seen one example that if this oxygen is going to attack over this carbon internally and replace the iodine, then you are going to have, see, you will have a five-membered ring, two five-membered ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 on this side, 5 on this side. So, both of these 5 member rings are going to be stable. Right? They are going to be stable, isn't it? <clears throat> and the nucleophile, whatever it is, water or any other solvent, it can attack back and give you the solvolysis. Now, this is going to be a fast reaction. Why is it fast? Because NGP, when it gives you a stable intermediate, is going to uh, increase the rate of that reaction. Okay? What happens with option number B, guys? There is no NGP, first of all, and if the iodine has to leave, you are going to get a positive charge on the, on the sp2 carbon, right? So, there is a positive charge on the more electronegative carbon as compared to this one. A positive charge is going to be right over here. Alright, so this is actually a more stable carbocation as compared to this one and your answer is option number A. C is going to be greater than A which is going to be greater than B. This is your correct order for the rate of solvolysis. Now, next question is major product formed in the following reaction is. Now, this question guys, June 2014 it has been asked and what did I tell you guys? Looking at this molecule, you might be, uh, you know, tempted to do elimination over here because you have OTS which is a good leaving group you might be tempted to just uh, rotate this proton and do the elimination but then you don't have elimination reagent neither you are having heat nor you have the base so no elimination we are going to do NGP we are doing substitution just cancel C and D there is no elimination how do we do NGP guys this is in a sawhorse projection now in this molecule I am just going to write the molecule as it is just writing the same thing, only changing this pH into a phenyl ring. Okay, the same thing. Now, this double bond is going to attack over here. OTS is going to be replaced and on this carbon, there is an inversion. So, when I finally write the phenonium ion, when I finally write the phenonium ion, how is the stereochemistry going to be? Let's check. So, yes, guys. Yesterday only I have told you that based on the stereochemistry of the phenonium ion, you are going to get the product. Now, here you can see that there is a C2 axis. There is a C2 axis like this. You can rotate the molecule, you can rotate and get the methyls on. They are basically 180 degree exchangeable. So, whenever you get this possibility, you are going to have two identical molecules. Okay? You are going to have two identical molecules. So, let's write the phenonium ion once again. So, this is exactly like this. Alright, in this case, the methyl is below and the hydrogen is above. And over here, the methyl is above and the hydrogen is below. This is a <coughs> flying wedge conformation projection. Okay. Yes. Now, what happens is, let's say we are doing acetolysis. Acetic acid is there. So, it is going to attack. On any one of the position, it is going to just give you a homomer. Right? Both of the molecules will be the same. So, that gives you option number a methyl is below hydrogen is over here the phenyl goes back to this carbon and there is retention so exactly where the ots has left from 
you have the acetate exactly on the same carbon on the same position this is uh, two inversions give you giving you retention okay so the final product is a retention product so the answer is option number a moving onwards another question in june 2015 optically pure isomers a and b were heated with sodium azide in the dmf okay so sodium azide and dmf guys what is this combination very important to understand whenever you see dmf or dmso or acetone all of these solvents are polar but they are polar aprotic solvent aprotic means there is no proton not like water methanol so polar aprotic solvents are very good uh, solvents for carrying out the sn2 reaction and what is nan3 minus it is n3 minus azide azide is a polarizable nucleophile it's a very good nucleophile so you are just doing a simple sn2 reaction and in these molecules guys a and b are the reactants and c and d are the products because here you see the azide has been replaced okay yes azide has replaced the bromide yes so let's first draw the conformation of a and let's see that what is possible in a so they are trans yesterday only we have discussed that it depends on cis and trans conformation what is going to be the product so if it is trans to each other and that also in the diaxial form i have written it uh, specifically you see that there is a 100% possibility of the neighboring group participation by the amine group obviously there will be a positive charge over here but that is going to give you yes this is going to give you neighboring group participation now guys the most important part is whenever you have such a three member ring now this three member ring you have two possible attacks the azide could attack over here and the azide could also attack over here now that i'm leaving on all of you guys when you open up the ring you are going to get two enantiomers of each other you cannot just directly get the enantiomer you will first have to uh you know draw the product one of the products let's say and then you have to uh, change the conformation flip it and then see they are going to be mirror images two mirror images over here okay you are going to get two mirror images over here what are you going to do once again open the ring from one side and write the product open the ring from the other side and write the product and try to bring them in the same conformation diaxial hai to diaxial mein just try to compare you will find out that they are mirror images so you get a trans molecule okay let's say i'm opening the ring from this side you are going to end up having a trans molecule over here this one but in this case you are going to get a racemic mixture in this case you are going to get a racemic mixture of cy because ngp hua hai and there is two possible attack so that is why you are getting racemic mixture both the enantiomers are going to be obtained however for option number b see look at this um b is above br is above n m e 2 is also above so in this case you cannot do ngp guys because so bromine anti periplanar hona chahiye it is not anti periplanar so we are just directly doing a sn2 reaction onto this carbon and replacing the br minus so that it gives you the trans product but yes this is also giving you c only nobody is giving d that's not a problem a gives racemic mixture of c this is correct and b gives optically pure c because we started from optically pure a and b right we have started from optically pure a and b but a is giving you a mixture of c while b is giving you pure c okay because there is only one single inversion over here that's why only one inversion this is direct inversion and there are two possibilities that is why mixture chalo we move onwards to next important question from december 2017 the correct intermediate which leads to the product in the following reaction is very beautiful and very easy question guys you see you have amino acid over here this is some amino acid okay amine group and acid on the same carbon okay nano2 and hbr what are they going to do they are going to convert this into the diazonium how does it look like after the diazonium formation it is going to look something like this 
n2 positive okay now what happens to this molecule guys oxygen of the acid yes this oxygen of the acid it is going to attack on this carbon because there is a very strong leaving group if it was not a leaving group then maybe it's not going to attack if it was just a bromine or something like that it is not going to attack maybe but it's a very good leaving group the diazonium and since it is going to attack you are going to get you are going to get an intermediate like this so this is an intermediate three membered ring and the oxygen is below okay now the hbr the bromide is present over here br minus can attack on this carbon and if it gives you retention product if it gives you retention product you are 100% sure ki ngp hua hai yahan yes absolutely it is giving you retention product br is above and the amine is also above so there is absolutely ngp taking place there is no other possibility you are getting the retention product over here right so what is the correct intermediate option number c the oxygen is going to attach from below this is absolutely wrong and the diazonium is going to leave guys it's a good leaving group not the oxygen so d is wrong and this does not make sense right chalo moving onwards another good question june 2018 ca sanet examination the correct statement about solvolysis using sodium acetate and acetic acid of the following compound is so once again acetolysis so i have already discussed this example yesterday only i just hope that you will be able to solve this within no time see what did i tell you acetate is above so i'm just uh, deliberately writing the acetoxy group above in this case and deliberately i have uh, drawn the uh, diaxial form okay so that you can see directly there is going to be ngp right so a is going to react faster than b yesterday i had given you the exact values of these and b is only going to have let's say there is a acetate over here and acha ots is above so there is a hydrogen on the equatorial position so this is only going to have sn2 attack one simple sn2 attack to give you the di equatorial products like this now this is also trans only trans di acetoxy cyclohexane and over here in this first one here you are going to get ngp by the acetoxy group so acetate is now going to attack on the same carbon where there was uh the tosylate it is going to give you retention isn't it because the molecule is trans and you are getting the trans product this is it right so you will still get the trans one to diacetoxy but a is going to react faster than b yes because of the ngp okay moving onwards another important question in gate 2014 it has been asked the correct order of rate of solvolysis for the foreign chlorides in acetic acid is okay so once again acetic acid means acetolysis you are doing so guys look at these molecules and i have discussed all of these with you yesterday and in the previous video that is this chloride if it leaves you are just going to have a simple secondary carbocation all right not a problem now with this oxygen present in the molecule we can say that okay yes i have got one of your comments that okay let's say we don't want to do ngp agar ye ngp ko slow karta hai if you know what happens is we have yesterday only seen that if you are getting a stable ring 1 2 3 4 5 member ring if it is forming a stable ring then the ngp is going to do do this reaction very very fast faster reaction okay lekin agar ngp destabilize kar raha hai system ko let's say there is a positive charge over here and if the ngp is going to destabilize the system then why do we want to do ngp bina ng ke bhi ngp ke bhi kar sakte na aise aa jayega yes it will just be a plain carbocation but no guys as soon as you see that there is a carbocation formation taking place the oxygen is going to use its electron density to be uh, to become closer to that carbon to share ele electron pair to that carbon oxygen wants to do that but it's not able to because there is a strain in the ring to wo koshish bhi kar raha hai par usse ho nahi raha right so that is why the rate of reaction is going to be slow for this particular example slower than 
what is a simple reaction what is a simple carbocation formation okay so 3 is going to be the fastest then there is 1 last may there is 2 oxygen wants to but cannot stabilize this system so that's the trauma so answer is option number c for it okay now another question from gate 2015 guys yes super important question you look at this solvolysis of the optically active Active compound X. Now this is active. In the previous CSI net examination, you got the same question, but it was not asked whether the products, the stereo of the product was not asked. It is asked over here. Okay. So see what they are asking you is you are having a substituted phenyl. Very good. The substitution is as such that you are going to get a more stable, uh, more uh, easily formed phenonium ion, isn't it? Because it is electron donating in nature. So make the phenonium ion, remove the tosylate. What do you see? There will be inversion on this particular carbon. I am drawing the products. Uh, drawing the intermediate of all of this. Yedeko. This is how the intermediate is going to be. Okay. Now what happens is guys, what did I tell you? That based on the stereochemistry of the phenonium ion, you will say the products whether they are optically active or inactive. Since you are having a sigma plane of symmetry in the system, there is a sigma plane of symmetry, you are going to get two possibilities. One attack from here, another attack from here. Those two possibilities are going to give you enantiomers. And when you have two enantiomers formed in 50-50%, you will say it is a optically inactive racemic mixture. Yeah, the molecule is optically active, but since there are two enantiomers, it is a racemic mixture. So, it is option number C only. And why do I say it is C? Because D also you have said racemic mixture, you have got this racemic mixture. But the question is, when you are doing NGP, you have done NGP when the nucleophile attacks once again, the methyl is going to go up once again because... Hamesha kya hota hai? In the NGP, you are having two inversion. Inversion, inversion, retention. So, the acetate must attach over here only. See, exactly the same position. Inversion, inversion, retention. Okay? One inversion over here. Another inversion over here gives to, uh, leads to retention, which is exactly this, not this. This is uh, wrong. Okay? So, C is the correct answer. You don't have to write the whole products. You're just going to do directly looking at the stereo of the peronium ion. Now, very important question by gate 2020 examination. Look at this. The correct statement with respect to the stereochemistry of alpha hydroxy acid P and Q formed in the following reaction is alpha hydroxy acids. So, P and Q will be alpha hydroxy acid which are forming from alpha halo acid. Guys, such a beautiful question. What did I tell you? That, you know, uh, the OH- minus is going to come and attack on this carbon because it has to replace the Br-. minus. Yes, it will. But what did I tell you that, you know, not always you see that there is a halo acid. You don't always see this. That in the presence of OH-, minus. see first of all in the presence of OH-, minus, this proton is going to be eliminated. That's not a problem. It will be eliminated. But without any force... Without any force, the carboxylate is not going to do NGP onto the bromine. Just like we have seen a previous question uh, in the CSI net examination, there was diazonium. Just previously we have discussed, right? So there was diazonium. And guys, diazonium was a very good, strong leaving group because nitrogen wants to be free. So that was the driving force of the carboxylate to attack and give the NGP. But yaha to aisa kuch nahi hai. Bromine is as it is. Yes, not a problem. So when you are having only bromine and only OH- minus, then it is going to give you simple inversion product. There is no NGP taking place. This is going to be the answer. This is P. P is formed with inversion of configuration. There is no NGP over here, only a simple SN2 attack. Okay, 
Yes, because there is no driving force. What about the next one, guys? What about the next possibility? In the next possibility, you will see that there is a silver salt over here. What is this silver going to do? The silver is going to pull away the bromine. That is the driving force, isn't it? That is the driving force. That bromine is pulled away by the silver plus, and that is why NGP happens in this case. That is why NGP happens in this case. And uh, what do you have? You are going to have oxygen below the plane. And once again, when the OH minus has to attack, it is going to give you a retention product. So, look at this. This is going to be OH above once again. So, this is option Q. This is Q. And Q is formed with retention of configuration. So, very, very awesome questions. Conceptual questions are asked from the uh, concept of NGP. And I'm 100% sure you are going to get one question on NGP in the in the CSI net or gate examination. They are always, always important and relevant. Okay. And uh, more important topics are coming up, guys. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. And also like the video also share with your friends guys if you are liking the content and also comment that what is the next video that you want from me okay so yes guys i'll see you very very soon bye everyone take care all of you